Hi guys, it's Rachel. So I just thought I'd pop on here real quick and make this video inspired by the lovely Giselle over at Mad Witch. So she recently acquired the lovely Francois Gassman Tarot of 1840 by Yves Renault, this edition here. And she compared it with another Marseille, an earlier Marseille, also a deck printed by Yves Renault. I don't remember which one it was. Was it Jean Payan? I don't remember now. But she wanted to show off the details of the Gasman compared to the other decks. And I got to talking about how I also love the Gasman and it how its um, precursor is the Claude Burdell of 1751, a much earlier deck. And I thought I would do a comparison. And I also thought I would include a a, pl a simpler deck, and I chose the Pierre Madinier. Uh, I wasn't sure exactly which three, or I wasn't sure what my third deck was going to be, but I went with this one. Um, so I'm just going to try to get right into it. And uh, yeah, I have my chopstick here tonight <laughs> because my nails are horrid. I got ink. I got ink in them, and then I accidentally cut one of my nails doing something silly. So... Anyway, I thought that this would be fun, and uh, yeah, I just I just loved Giselle's video. I love all of her videos. So yes, the Pierre Madinier, I'm not going to get too much into the history here. You should check out Giselle's video. I'll try to remember to link that below, but uh, this is the earliest, uh, 1709, and then we have 1751, and Francois Gassman, 1840. So, all right, here we have the Fool. These are actually quite similar here. But yeah, you see you have like these added um, details here in this, I don't know, this collar. exactly sure how to do this. I didn't think this through. <laughs> um, yeah. See, look at the, the table here. All these fun little curly cues and filigrees and whatnot. Again, these are also, these are, these two are quite similar. Try not to talk about all of the cards. Once again, it's getting very late here. <sighs> Love her face, so beautiful. But yeah, similar coloring in these two decks. And here you have this really bright green. So much fun. Emperor. Should I get closer? I don't know if I want to get closer. No, I don't think I will. I think it ruins the resolution. Okay. Yeah, look at the difference in his scepter here. Love his face. Yeah, the Pierre Madinier is known for the lovely faces. 
I really love the Claude Burdell as well. And this is just fun. <laughs> yeah, in all three of these lovers cards, this young gentleman here, different expression. He looks rather moody here. And he looks rather happy in these two. But yeah, see all the little details in their get ups here. You're not going to notice too many similarities between these two in the majors. I'll just let you know that right now, in case you're confused. <laughs> Disgruntled looking horse. Ah, This one's probably my favorite. So Giselle had asked me, um, about the Claude Burdell and why I mentioned it, when, why I mentioned that it might be my favorite Marseille. And well, one reason is it was a gift, but I chose it. I was looking at a bunch of facsimile decks. It was my first facsimile deck. And uh, this is the one that I fell in love with. I just, I love the colors. I don't know if they're showing up so well here, but it's this beautiful green. It's just so rich. And um, instead of reds in this deck, which you see in most Marseilles, it's this beautiful orange. And I just, I just love the color palette. Look at that. <laughs> Love this one. Almost looks like she has piano keys on her sleeve. There's a few cards. Far, ah, <laughs> there's a few cards that um, I don't know remind me a bit of piano keys in some of the details and the clothing and stuff. So yeah, these two are quite similar, and then here we've replaced. Uh, these rustic branches with these like painted gallows or whatever they're called. And we have piano keys again. They're not really piano keys, I'm sure, but it's a very festive hanged man. And his attire here is quite different. I guess looking sort of like sort of gesture like I don't know these three are all quite similar you have this like blue scythe here and this red in the skull Beautiful temperance. Look at her face. She's cute. 
I love the wings in all three. One of the loveliest cards, Marseille. Okay, now, all right. These two are quite similar here. And then I just love this little devil, these cute little hams. He's got like the furry pantaloons, so cute. And his face, he's just not menacing at all. It's the fun devil card. Now I have another gas man and um, she's wearing a dress, I think. She's, it's like painted over. She's got this black dress on. Um, maybe at some point, if anyone's interested, I will do a comparison. I have, I have three gas man tarots actually. I love all three. Um, I love some of these details here, like the bird. Um, I don't know how to choose a favorite. Did I call it the star card correctly or did I call it something weird? I don't know. I don't know where my mind is today. <laughs> Another very long day. Every day I think I'm gonna be able to make a video and sit down to record. And before I knew it, it was 11.30 tonight. And I'm still trying to edit my previous video. So yeah, you have like this blue here in the landscape instead of a green. I don't know if this is, is this black or blue in the moon here, but anyway, other than that, quite similar in composition. I love the details in the uh, the ripples of the water here, though. See, okay. So here, all right, these two sun cards, see the similarities? And then check out this one. I love the green face, by the way, but it's, it's quite different. lion here is cross-eyed and Giselle had mentioned he's got headphones on <laughs> uh, yeah look at that smirk same here No, hang on one second. I thought I had this all the way that I wanted it. And I messed up somehow. And I really was seeking not to edit this. So um, hang on, 
I'm gonna do my best to remedy this. <laughs> Okay. I was like, why does that wand look so different? Ah, uh, because it is. All right. Ace of Wands. So again, these two are very similar to one another, okay? And we're in the minors now. So this is where I see most of the similarities between the Claude Burdell and the Gas Mound. You have the same... Um, falling twigs, like flowering twigs or whatever they are. I don't know why I'm calling them twigs. They're probably just flowers. They're a bit more detailed here than they are here. But here you just have like these, like, you know, yod shapes or whatever they are. Okay. Moving on. And here in these ones, all right, so I think you can, you'll notice the differences right away. In the Claude Burdell, you have these like um, little ball shapes at the ends of the wands, like these, I don't remember what they're called, like finials or something, I don't know. But you see them here in the gas men. Similar here with the flowers, they've been adapted differently here but you have the same basic design of the wands. And then here in the Madinier, you have this, you know, more traditional shape for the wands, the ends. And I love, I love in some of the wands in the Claude Burdell, you have like this, like, it looks like this stamped design with like fleur-de-lis. Can you see that? I haven't seen that in any other deck. But yeah, this is a, a Swiss Marseille. This is even more detailed than this one here. And it's not that um, it's not that every card maker after this adapted this design. No, like for example, the Conver deck, which might be one of the most popular Marseille. This deck is from 1760, and um, I didn't. I decided not to use this as a comparison just because I thought, I don't know, this didn't match the design as well. But see. It's closer to the Madinier, even though this deck came after this one. Just an example. But yeah, this is the, the uh, a Conver facsimile by Low Scarabeo. Out of print though, but a fun deck. Okay, moving on. Yeah, if anyone's watching and has enjoyed this, I recommend uh, Giselle's video because she really had fun discussing each card. I'm not really doing that, um, but I had I had a ball listening to her discuss the beauty of the cards and the humor. See, the same design here was adapted from the Claude Burdell. Whereas here in the Madinier, you have like these, these leaves. So 
some added details in the clothing here. They're here in these other decks as well. They're just colored in with one solid color. See, here and here. Whereas here in the guest men, there's contrasts of color, different uses of color. So, more than one color. And he's got blue hands here. Cute little face. We have a blue horse here. These two are quite similar. Yeah, and she's got all these added details here in her sleeves, in her robe, everywhere. It's lovely. And she's so beautiful. This is my favorite one, as everyone knows. I won't gush about her again. I'm always gushing about this Queen of Wands. But she's just my favorite. She reminds me of one of my friends. I love her face. So serene. Like a quiet strength and wisdom and compassion. But the Madinye is also a very sweet little face. Look at her. Just gorgeous. <laughs> Look at his face. <laughs> he looks like he's on his guard, maybe or someone's taking his photo, <laughs> shouldn't be. <laughs> I don't know, but yeah. Got more of these like piano keys here and these details in his shoes, look at that. I love this King of Wands, he's just so clean. The lines are so clean here. But yes, some of the same, the same details really. Um, Except for here. This is, they added some triangles and whatnot. I don't know. Oh. What did I do with the Ace of Swords? Oh, they're backwards? Oh, no. I don't know where the Ace of Swords went. I had it, though. Like, I had it because it was out of order. Remember? Okay, hang on. Uh, I'm a little confused, but okay, sorry. <laughs> I really thought I had all this all set up. Okay. All right, so let's see. Again, this was adapted from this design here. Here you have all of this fun stuff. I'm just going to call it fun stuff hanging out the top. Same. I just love the aces in Marseille, don't you? Okay, so another um, detail with the Claude Burdell is that the swords have hilts, um, just as they do in the Gasman. And you don't see that here. You don't see that in most of the Marseilles. I like it. I love that they have hilts. The other thing I love about the Burdell is that the blacks in this deck are more like this beautiful golden brown. I don't know. I just love the whole color combo of this deck. I love all three of these decks. Um, I do. Okay. Love the Four of Swords. I really don't know as my camera picks up the colors properly. Like if you can tell that this is like this beautiful orange color, but 
Oh well. This is like... Okay. Hang on a second. So fancy. Love this orange color. Love him. Now here is where all three are very different from one another. If you'll notice the this cup here, um, they use the same design in the uh, the Tarot Classic, which is actually an adaptation of. Another Marseille, I believe, from the early 1900s. But most of the time with Marseille, you have this design. I don't know if I can quickly find it in the Conver, and if I can't, I'm not going to bother. But um, yeah, I'm sure many of you watching, oh here, are Marseille fans, so you probably know what I'm talking about. This is usually what you see, this design here. This is very interesting. Um, but this is my favorite. This is my favorite Ace of Cups in a Marseille. <clears throat> it looks like this kingdom that I want to enter. And here you have this, um, I don't know if it's a phoenix or what kind of bird it is. I might have read somewhere what type of bird that's supposed to be. But see how it's like rising from the ashes or something, and there's a sun here. And I love this little filigree here at the bottom. It's a beautiful Ace of Cups. I hope I didn't call it Ace of Swords earlier. I don't know. It's just my favorite. It's so gorgeous. Two of Cups. I love the Two of Cups in a Marseille, in all Marseille. Um, here, you're going to notice most in most Marseille, the cups are this shape here. Let's see. Here. Oh, how convenient. <laughs> see? Like that. The initials here at the bottom are always a little bit different. You have this shield with this fleur-de-lis here. This is like this round shape. But um, anyway, this is quite similar. Oh, here's fleur-de-lis as well, but it's also a heart. And this is so sweet. This more rustic looking little heart here, isn't it? But it's, you can see how it's um, designed after this here. Okay. But the cup shape, I just love the cups and the Claude Burdell, and I love the color too. Usually you have this yellow and the Claude Burdell, it's this beautiful gold, this rich gold color. And these are more similar to this, I would say, than the Madinier or most of the other Marseille. So you've got the same details here. These just, I don't know, are maybe a little more rounder, are a little rounder. I don't know if I can talk very well tonight. Okay. So beautiful. See? Ah. 
Love the cups. Whoops. And yeah, of course, here I forgot to mention with the, the gas man, instead of just a yellow or a gold, they have these fun colors like blue and black and yellow. And red, of course. But you have the same the same details here. They're just a gold and this lovely um, brown color I was telling you about instead of the black that you see in most of the other decks. These are more like square bases or not square, more angular. You know what I'm you know what I'm saying. I think you know what I'm saying. Okay. I'm not even talking very much and it's longer video than I expected, but that's okay. Oh, I just love Marseille. Which one is your favorite? I don't know if I really have just one favorite Marseille. I mean, I often say Claude Burdell. I'm not, it's hard for me to choose favorites. Um, it really is. I, I have many and I love them all. This always seems to be the same here with this large cup at the top. Yeah, see, same design basically. Look at that. <laughs> Beautiful hair in the page. Cute little horse with that face. And you have this really round cup going on. These are quite similar here, actually. And here, all, all three of them are quite the same. zigzags and things going on. So much fun. The Gasman is such a fun deck. And as I was saying, I have three Gasmans and this one by Yves Renault, if I'm pronouncing his name right, is, is my favorite one. And the backs. Did I show you the backs? I mean, come on. They're just some of the best backs. These are, these are lovely too, of course, as are these. Uh, this blue, what a fun choice. So yeah, these two, well, no, actually all three of these are different. This has um, the fleur de lis again, but this here, this is all very similar. This is much more on the simple side. Still so lovely though. That little green there. I don't know if that was intentional. love the two of uh, discs. Almost done. So yeah, they're a bit different in design here. You have the, the flowers. How much fun. How sweet, right? Instead of this fleur-de-lis. Flowers here, though, too. They just don't look as preppy or something. I don't know. But um, yeah, this is all very identical. 
I love these little dots. Just so sweet. And this delicate blue in the Claude Burdell. Here you have this um, Phoenix or Eagle. I, I think I might have read somewhere something about an Eagle. I'm not sure. But also we have this like, looks like this little table here with this cloth over it and tassels. See, it's the same. This is upside down apparently. Here you have this shield with this fleur-de-lis. R. See? This crown and these little horns or whatever they are. Looks very regal, like a coronation or something. I don't know, but it's very similar. I love I love it. I just love Marseille pips. I love the miners. And I, I prefer with the modern adaptations of Marseille when they keep the structure of the traditional pips. It's okay when they do different things, but I find it sort of boring personally. I prefer the traditional structure. Do you know what I mean? We're almost done. Lovely eight of discs. See here, these look like heads of some birds or things, and you have that here too. So interesting. Hope you can see the cards well. I just thought it would be fun to do this little comparison video for Giselle. But yeah, check out her video. It's it's just so much fun. It's not a tag or anything. I just, um, you know what I mean. It's got all these added details here again. Piano keys and buttons. I always loved how it says the page's name down the side here. Fun little detail. love the, the queen of discs. She's probably my favorite one of the three. And the king of discs. And I've mentioned in another video how the king of discs, how his, how his hat or crown or whatever it is, has morphed over time in the earlier decks. It's more of a crown with a brim, and then over time it morphs into this round shape. But here in these three, they're all the same. They're all the same design. Same positioning of the body and everything. I love the King of Discs. Same diamonds here in the seats. And these are like some little round, little round guys or something. And I love these little details on his pants. Okay, well, that'll about do it. Uh, this video is a little bit longer than I thought it would be, but I hope you enjoyed. And uh, all right, guys, thanks for watching. Bye.